All right, welcome back to another edition of Library Unboxing, uh, where I show you all the new YA books that we have recently received here at the library. Let's get right into today's books. Uh, we're gonna start with We Were Kings, and this is by Court Stevens. Court Stevens wrote um, The June Boys, which is one of the Lone Star <clears throat> Award winners um, from this previous year. So you guys might have um, read that one, may recognize her from that. So let's see what We Were Kings is all about. It says a 20 year old crime, an accelerated death penalty, and an elitist family cover up. Nyla races against the death row clock to save a woman the world is rooting for and against. Which side will you choose? 20 years ago, 18 year old Frances Quick was convicted of murdering her best friend, Cora King, and sentenced to death. Now, the highly debated Accelerated Death Penalty Act has passed, giving Frankie 30 final days to live. Surprising everyone, one of the King family members sets out to challenge the woefully inadequate evidence and potential innocence of Frankie Quick. The at first reluctant but soon fiery Nyla and her unexpected ally, handsome country island boy Sam Stack, bring Frankie's case to the international stage through her YouTube channel, Death Days. They step into fame and a hometown battle that someone's still willing to kill over. But who? The senator? The philanthropist? The pawn shop owner? Nyla's own mother? Best advice, don't go to family dinner at the King's estate. More people will leave in body bags than on their own two feet. And as for Frankie Quick, she's a gem, even if she's guilty. Okay, that one sounds really good. Sounds really intense. So be sure to pick up We Were Kings. All right, up next we have Roman and Jewel by Dana L. Davis. It says, whatever you do, don't fall in love. Wherefore art, wait, what? Jersey James, do not get her started on what is in a name, is up for the lead role in the hottest new show heading to Broadway, Roman and Jewel, a Romeo and Juliet inspired hip hopera featuring a diverse cast and modern twists on the play. But her hopes are crushed when she learns that R&B megastar Cine won the lead and Jersey is cast as her understudy. Falling for male lead Zeppelin Reed is a terrible idea, especially once Jersey learns Cine wants him for herself. Star-crossed love always ends badly, but when a video of Jersey and Zepp practicing goes viral and the entire world weighs in on who should play Jewel, Jersey learns that while the price of fame is high, friendship, family, and love are priceless and worth risking it all. Okay, that sounds so cute. Little Romeo and Juliet um, in a Broadway modern super, super cuteness. Okay, check it out. In the Wild Light by Jeff Zentner. Okay. For every way the world tries to kill us, it gives us the way to survive. Life in small town Tennessee has never been easy. Cash already lost his mother to an opioid addiction and is, is losing his papa who raised him, one labored breath at a time. But loss has led him to Delaney Doyle and she has been his salvation. The trouble is that canoeing on the river and hiking the mountains might be all he needs to fill his soul, but Delaney is meant for so much more. So when Delaney makes a scientific discovery that gets them both full rides to an elite boarding school in Connecticut, Cash has to make the tough decision to leave behind his place of the heart to support his person of the heart. Will the decision go to, to go to Middle Ford Academy be the thing that finally breaks Cash or will it be the making of him? All right, this sounds like a really sweet story, a little coming of age. Um, Definitely sounds good. You guys be sure to check that one out. Okay, so up next we have The Cost of Knowing. And this is by Brittany Morris, who is the author of the book Slay. All right. So this one says, 16 year old Alex Rufus is trying his best. He tries to be the best employee he can be at the local ice cream shop. 
the best boyfriend he can be to his amazing girlfriend, Talia, the best protector he can be to his little brother, Isaiah. But as much as Alex tries, he often comes up short. It's hard for him to be present when every time he touches an object or person, Alex sees into his future. When he touches the scoop, he has a vision of him using the scoop to scoop ice cream. When he touches his car, he sees it years from now, totaled and underwater. When he touches Talia, he sees them at the precipice of breaking up, and that terrifies him. Alex feels these visions are a curse, distracting him, making him anxious and unable to live an ordinary life. And when Alex touches a photo that gives him a vision of his brother's imminent death, everything changes. With Alex now in a race against time, death, and circumstances, he and Isaiah must grapple with their past, their future, and what it means to be a young black man in America in the present. All right, that one sounds really, really good. Definitely wanna pick that one up and see how that plays out, you guys. Check out the cost of knowing. Okay, and we are down to our last one. This is called Luck of the Titanic, and it is by Stacy Lee. Valora Luck has two things, a ticket for the biggest and most luxurious ocean liner in the world, and a dream of leaving England behind and making a life for herself as a circus performer in New York. Much to her surprise though, she's turned away at the gangway, apparently, Apparently Chinese people aren't allowed into America, but Val has to get on that ship. Her twin brother, Jamie, who has spent two long years at sea is on board as an influential circus owner. Thankfully, there's not much a trained acrobat like Val can't overcome when she puts her mind to it. As a stowaway, Val should keep her head down and stay out of sight. But the clock is ticking as she has just seven days as the ship makes its way across the Atlantic to find Jamie, audition for the circus owner, and convince him to help them both into America. Then one night, the unthinkable happens, and suddenly Val's dreams of a new life are crushed under the weight of the only thing that matters, survival. All right, this one sounds really good too. A little historical fiction for y'all. Um, Anything about the Titanic is, is really interesting and um, this sounds really, really fun. Can't wait to read that one. All right. So that's going to be it for this edition of YA Unboxing. But as you can see, we have a ton of new books here at the library. Um, we've gotten so many of these just in the past few weeks. So definitely come by and check them out. We have a lot of fiction graphic novels, and some nonfiction as well. So come check it out. All right, thanks for joining me today and we'll see you again soon.